Hello guys, what is going on? It is your boy Ultra Legend. Today we'll be looking at this 10 year old laptop in 2017. So we're gonna see how it performed in 2017. Um <clears throat> this is a 2007 Lenovo laptop and yeah it's got it's got two gig of RAM and it's got like a it's got Intel Central Pro and it, it originally had Windows Vista but then I installed a clean Windows 10 on it so we're gonna turn it on and see how long it takes to boot up All right, so it's done. Now we're gonna unlock the computer. All right, so it finally booted up. First of all, we're gonna check out internet browsing and see how well that performs. Alright, so we're gonna go on this, we're gonna go on my website and see how that Alright so that's pretty decent. Um yeah I've got 3.3k subscribers. That's mad you know. Thank you for all the support guys. Now we're going to see how YouTube plays back. We're gonna see <coughs> what it's like to watch YouTube on this machine. Right, so that loads pretty well. Let's go on one of my videos. Okay, let's see how it's like on 60 FPS. Yeah, it's not really smooth as you can see. But let's go to 1080p. Right, we're already on 1080p actually. So yeah, YouTube's not the best for 60 FPS, but if I want to play at 30 FPS, it's absolutely fine. Alright, so here's one of my videos, and it's playing absolutely fine, I guess. Um, sort of playing absolutely fine, but um, let's see how let's see how OBS is like. We're gonna see how OBS Studio performs. Right, we're getting 30 FPS. You know, what? I'm actually shocked because normally. On older computers, OBS does not normally work, but on this computer, to my surprise, it actually worked. Like, it actually didn't give me any error saying that your drives are out of date. It's actually working fine, and I'm getting solid 30 FPS on this laptop. But when I record, as you can see, the microphone might not be as great, but see, it's me recording. Alright, let's stop the recording. And yeah, you can actually live stream, but I'm not gonna live stream. You know, it's just that I, I normally stream on this PC, but um, let's move on. Let's see how FL Studio performs. my USB in because it's got my sounds on it works fine <coughs> it's all like I'm okay my song I've been working on this summer USB I work it on the computer as well but I carried it off me all along my USB and it's working fine it's like a house track I might put it on my flooring channel so check it out it's actually sound sick so um alright let's see what else 
So let's run a salt cube and let's see the FPS. This is like CSGO, so like if you're playing CSGO on this machine, then it'll be similar. To the, the FPS will be similar, so <coughs> I normally get 200 FPS on my machine, so 299 FPS. So on here, look at that. Just look at the lag. That's what you expect from this monster. This machine, it's a pretty old machine, so the graphics ain't really good. <coughs> so yeah, I got this software which can check your graphics details and your CPU this and that you can see the temperature of your CPU your CPU performance so yeah let's check that out so on this laptop here's all the information it's uh, got Intel 2 core duo and it's got this is the GPU inside it's a it's an integrated CPU it's only got 384 megabytes it's quite low it's 2 gigahertz here you can see the temperatures and that um, it's like it's like 45 degrees the cpu is 45 degrees right now um trust me i tried this before yeah i was i was um i was using obs and it went up to like 80 degrees so it went it got really hot the cpu to the extent that even the laptop got hot so the actual the actual laptop overheats so that's the problem for this laptop because quite old anyway um i'm gonna show you this laptop in depth even the size is quite compact quite a good uh, size this computer comparing to like if you if you want to make music and that it's quite a good laptop it's quite a good laptop for making songs and uh, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't really lag that much unless you're unless you're using so much um, uh, sounds and if you're like a gamer then this is a no-no so personally this computer is like from 2007. It's a 2007 Lenovo computer. I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the size of this computer in a minute. So here's the actual computer. It's actually quite small. You can you can carry it with one hand. Uh, it's even got a fingerprint sensor. But I don't know even I don't even know how that works, unfortunately. So I I tried it that. Apparently this computer came with a docking station, but um, don't have it right now. It's got a disk drive. On the back, it's, it's quite um. Here, it's, it's actually quite damaged on the size side because it's quite an old laptop. This wasn't really my laptop, but here's it. Here it is. Uh, it's, it's actually quite slim, as you can see. Um, with the docking station, um, it's quite fat, but it's got quite a good battery life, as you can see. Considering it's so old. 53% right now and you've got two hours remaining so it's quite a good computer if you want to do light browsing and watching YouTube videos but if you're watching in 1080p or streaming some movie I advise not to use this laptop because it's quite crap but other than that if you want to use it for light browsing or light gaming or playing some Agari or whatever or making some FL Studio tracks, then this laptop's all right. But if you want a, a faster computer for gaming, then this is not a computer for you. Uh, it's, it's quite decent. Like when you shut, when you put this computer to sleep, it goes to sleep, and then whenever you want to wake it up. It wakes up fast enough, so here it is. Um, Lenovo ThinkPad. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, subscribe, smack that like button. It's become a legend. And once again, peace out.